Hey everyone, this is Devin Townsend from Music Radar, and um, I've got the opportunity here to give you an overview of um, my Framus uh, signature guitar. Uh, people often ask me about this guitar, and uh, there's often criticism I find uh, with musicians who just put their name on things. It seems like a lot of brands say, okay, well, we've got this existing product, and we're just going to put your name on it, and then that will be your signature guitar. With this, uh, I have spent um, two or three years now working on this guitar with Framus. They're a very um, high-end uh, guitar manufacturer based out of Germany. They also make Warwick basses. And I have had signature guitars before, and although I like them, uh, my needs are very specific. And what I wanted to do with this guitar, which is called a Stormbender, um, was make something that I didn't need any more guitars. So I work with Framus exclusively for my electric guitar needs. And this guitar is a seven string version of it. And I typically prefer six, but it's nice to have that, that low string because there's several songs that I um, have that have that uh, need. So how I designed it with them is I love the sound of a Les Paul Custom. I love that set neck, mahogany body, heavy maple cap, ebony fretboard. I love that sound. I just don't like how Les Pauls look on me. I just, I, it's, I've always found them to be kind of dopey on me, right? So I asked for the same construction and I asked for a bunch of really specific things. Now this guitar, a lot of people pick it up and they're like, oh wow, it's really heavy. Well, that's one of the things that I asked for actually. When I'm playing the heavy riffs that uh, I just love to play, I just love crunching away. In fact, when it comes to live stuff, although I play the guitar at the studio and I play all the solos and the complicated things, live, I just want to riff. So I uh, will be hiring guitar players for the upcoming tours that will play all the hard parts for me. And for the live stuff, I just want to just like, like crunchy, crunchy, like really devastating riffs. I love that feeling. So having a heavy guitar is, it makes me feel like I'm driving a truck. And uh, this guitar, you know, maybe it's about four and a half kilograms. Um, the Evertune Bridge is something that uh, I recently discovered, well, after over the past three or four years. And it's a mechanical system of strings that you can set in your tuning. So it's not a um, robotic thing. It's not like uh, it tunes it for you. It's just once you find the tuning, uh, and if you look it up online, you'll find the uh, process and how to do that. Once you find your tuning, you can basically set it. So no matter what happens, whether or not it's atmospheric changes or bending like crazy or whatever, it's going to be in tune for, you know, ever, basically, until you break a string. And, uh, you know, I flew with this guitar and uh, I changed the strings, uh, you know, a week ago. And it's still like, I just took it out of the case, it's dead on in tune. That's a huge uh, plus on this system. These pickups in here are uh, a signature design that I've made with Fishman, and it's called the Transcendent Pickup, Transcendence Pickup, and it's basically half Alnico and half um, ceramic, so it sort of runs uh, in parallel with a heavy metal sound, like a really crunchy uh, voiced by me and uh, Larry Fishman and the people there. Heavy metal sound, that's an active pickup. However, I can tap it, and then at that point they turn into a low gain passive sound. So like a Telecaster kind of vibe. And the combination of the ability to do both those things in one place is, uh, again, gives me the opportunity to have this guitar do everything for me. I use the, uh, the Grover tuning pegs. I usually prefer the bigger ones, but because it's a seven string, I use the smaller one on this. Um, everything about these Framus guitars are uh, they're perfect. They're just made so pristinely. This particular model is uh, a custom one, and they, it, it, they're, they're expensive. They're very expensive. However, they've got something called a team-built model, which is the exact same guitar, but without the carbon fiber in the middle and without um, the lights. And as showy as these lights are, they serve a practical purpose for me because on stage, Having those illuminated dots allows me when the lights are out to know which fret I'm on. Um, little things about it. It is a set neck, which I really like the sound of, but I've never liked the feel of a set neck. So what we did was we made it a set neck that um, is a through feel. 
but it still has that that um, that feeling or that sound of of that set thing that I like about the Les Paul. Uh, this seven string is a 26 inch scale, whereas the six string is actually 25 and a half. So it's only a half inch longer for the seven string, but I like that because uh, I don't want to play the seven string in a totally different way. I just want to add that different string and have that extra half inch for the, for the low, in this case, G string. But it allows me to play this guitar very similar to how I play the six, so I can do my solos and everything, and it's a, a similar sort of tension. But uh, all in all, this guitar is um, the culmination of not only three years of work, but, but years of touring as well. When we did the prototype, I asked them to allow me to tour with it so I could then refine it. And little things, I mean, I could, I could go on and on, but the pitch of the headstock is such that when I lie this guitar on the ground, the headstock doesn't touch the carpet. So it maintains that kind of sound I like about the Les Paul, but also doesn't, um, uh, I'm gonna step on my guitar. I'm not careful with things. It's unfortunate, but I'm a, I'm a klutz. So things like that are small things, but things nonetheless that really work for me. Even this pickup selector. When I first started, it was more here, but then I, because I do so much tapping and everything in my work, I realized that where it was was getting in the way of that. So we just moved it back an inch. Little things, but you know, the radius on the top, it's got like a slight curve. Uh, the, the input jack is there. It's, um, the Fishman system is a USB rechargeable battery. So even though it's active, we're not running through a ton of batteries because of their system. But frame of Stormbender, you get it six and seven string models. We've got the team built version, which is less expensive than the custom shop. And then at next year's NAM, we're gonna be releasing one that is uh, a little cheaper than that too. Not, not a beginner's model, but uh, a much more um, uh, maybe practically affordable version for, uh, for the general public. But if you're interested in this, the team built version is exactly this guitar, but just without the lights and the carbon fiber. So enjoy. One thing as well, if you are interested in the custom shop version, you can, they can do anything. There's nothing that this company can't do. They made me a flying V with smoke machines and lasers in it. It's, it's absurd. So some people have been ordering this guitar with, you know, you could do like a Koa inside and like a sparkle purple here and anything you want. That would be actually really ugly. But if you, uh, if you were so inclined, they can certainly do that. But Framus Guitars, Framus.de is their website. Um, I've been working with them now for about seven or eight years and uh, I use their electric guitars exclusively and uh, I can't be happier. Thank you so much.